Okay. I want you to talk to his shaman side, Dom. The one that got him into the practice. The one who got him keeping going in the practice. And the part of them got him here today. What that, advice Bruce. do you have for his shaman side? Let's go down memory lane, Mr. Shaman. Yeah. To what did it for you in the beginning, those mystical experiences, that part of you that got excited, that found the joy when you discovered some of your connection to nature, some of your connection to fire, some of your connection to the elements, how the wind spoke to you when you went outside, how it whispered around you, how the trees spoke to you through their leaves, how you crunched through the leaves in the forest and yet you heard more than you heard. You felt more than you felt. Remember that connection? Remember those days when you went to the hills or wherever was your place of escape through the forest? And you felt it, you felt it in the air all around you. You felt it in the ethers, you felt them. You felt the words you were spoken to, you were called, weren't you? You, were, you felt the calling in your heart and you felt that joy and you felt the joy of that mystical moment. That's so, what you need to remember now. Go back to that joy. What first got you on that journey where you wanted to bring home that feather, you wanted to bring home that stick and that stone and you wanted to make a collection and you wanted to go up and throw your arms in the air and connect to to the celestial brothers and sisters and you wanted to go out and star watch and you wanted to go and dance under the moon and you wanted to sit with the sun on your face and let it flow through your body those, yeah? are, some, those are some of my most fulfilling moments those are some of the moments where i felt truly connected and heard and felt and safe and understood and like I, I love that feeling of just being connected and with, with things that, that isn't bullshit, you know? And that's, that's the thing. I was connecting with things that were real, things that were real. Yes. Even though, like, I couldn't necessarily see them in front of my face, I felt them in my very being as real. And it's some of my greatest memories. So let's stay there a while. Let's just go back to that mystical place, Trent. Let's just go and sit on a cloud on the treetops, the, the, the snow on the top of the fir trees, and Wolf, the ancestors of the north, talking to you from Wolf all your childhood through the, through the fields cradle board of the seven future generations let's run through the field of of the coyote and the mouse and green fields and red flowers we'll go to the east and greet the ancestors at dawn and fly with the birds of prey or to the west to your dream time and connect to the medicine wheel and brown bear do, let's do all these things again together brother shaman Let's do yeah. these things together. Let's go and light a spirit fire. Let's collect the wood. Let's pray over the wood. Yeah, let's put our pot on the fire again, shall we? Yes. I and create love. steam. Let's do all that again. Let's do all those things that bring us back to who we really are. What we're here for. This is what we're here for. To recreate all that again. To remember it. Because it's in us, it's in our heart. It's our very being, it's who we are. And the universe flows through you, me and everyone every day, just saying, come, come and do this, light a fire with me. The universe will sit around that fire with you when you look at the stars. It's simple. It's the authentic you. The rest of it's crap. The rest of it's crap. That's you. Thank you.
Beautiful. Thank you, Laura.